and keep that intact the way it is. That's great. But then, uh, starting in February, why not kick off the E in FL? All right? And the, the Enhanced National Football League. Smith Dog says, says he doesn't know what to think of, it, of my proposal. Hey, think about it. That's all you have to do is think about it. You don't have to come up with a yes or no. Just think about it. Um, let's make an E NFL that runs in the off season. The Enhanced National Football League, where we take all the athletes, you know, that, that want to use performance-enhancing drugs, they want to use steroids or HGH or any any sort of new product that may hit the market. There is absolutely no performance enhancing drug testing in the ENFL. Absolutely not. And you want to test for other drugs, whatever. All right, you want to, you want to test for meth? Go ahead. Let me go right ahead. But you, we don't test for we don't test for PEDs. We don't test for performance enhancing drugs in the ENFL. Right? It's... Uh, Smith Dog says, the only thing I can think of this is, wouldn't this segregate the enhanced and non-enhanced athletes? Well, yeah, that's that's what we want to do. That, that's the point. That's the name of the game. The, the, the deal is, these guys come in that are juicing, and it it's not a level playing field, because we still have athletes that want to do it the right way. We still have athletes that want to do it right. We still have athletes that don't want to take substances. They want to do it the natural way and the right way. And these guys are maybe losing their job. And, and, you know, like losing some money to guys who have lesser ability because these other guys are willing to to take performance-enhancing drugs and wreck their bodies. And so we, I think, to me, we need to, we need to segregate. All right? And with the NFL, with the regular NFL... You keep the testing in place, but it's make it a one strike and you're out policy, which I think it needs to be anyway. Make it a one strike and you're out policy. You get caught one time, one time steroids, one, then you're out. You're out of the league. That's it. One positive test, out of the league. Now forget the uh, you know first strike, second throw. You know, forget that. One and you're out. I think I think it should be like that anyway. I mean, you, you want to clean it up, it, that's your best bet. That's your best try. A guy will really, really, really think twice about sacrificing his whole career for that extra edge. But right now, we don't have that in place. And guy gets, hey, hey, you don't do that. Go home. You go home for a day. I mean, come on. What's going to stop a guy from cheating when all he gets is a, a, a vacation for a week or two? You know what I mean? Uh, and you have to pay $100,000. Oh, come on. The guy makes that in one day. <laughs> no, that's a joke. That's an absolute joke. That the testing system, the 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 punishments are a joke. You know, the the testing works. Punishments a joke. It's they're you know not good enough. But yeah, Ellis has a week off with pay. Oh no! And even if they lose pay for that week, oh no! Who cares? They're gonna come. You think you think Sean Merriman's hurting on pay after his positive? The steroid test last season? <laughs> I mean, come on. Come on. It's ridiculous. They kick him out of the league, one and out. But uh, with the with the ENFL, why risk it? Why risk it with the NFL when, uh, when you can just go play in the ENFL? Not have to worry about tests. Use whatever supplement you want. Get as big as you need to get. Then go compete with other guys. And that, I mean, to me, that levels out the playing field. I mean, it, it keeps it, it keeps it, I mean, do we not have, it, like, an influx of capable athletes nowadays? I mean, don't we? It seems to me like we have more guys that are capable of playing professional sports than ever before. I mean, the population is growing, uh, all the latest technology, weights, equipment, training regimens, uh, supplements. We have more guys that are able to play professional sports these days than ever, and uh, and this this performance enhancing drug thing is always going to be a problem. So to me, it's a problem that'll never be eliminated. Why not exploit it and make money? <laughs> I like listen. I know it sounds crazy, and that it will never happen. I understand this. Before you tell me, I understand that this will never happen. It it sounds totally nuts, and. 
it'll never ever go down. But think about it. If we had in the in the NFL off season, who is not waiting for the NFL to start every single day? I mean, if you're a sports fan, every single day you're waiting for the NFL to start back up. You love it. So why not have the E N F L in the off season? I mean, that's a whole nother that's a whole nother grade of just professional football that we could watch. And not XFL, not arena, not second rate chump football that you can't watch for more than five minutes. No gimmicks, just like the NFL, except <laughs> no testing for performance-enhancing drugs. Come on, everybody's happy then, right? Everybody's happy. You have guys that want to use substances, get to use them. They got their own league, they're getting paid. And the guys that want to keep it clean, NFL's right there, all cleaned up. 